okay if you open up the uh, line 6 uh, FPV control software this is what we need to use uh, to program to change presets etc so you can see it, it, this is how it looks when you open it up basically but you've got A, B, C and D which obviously is the buttons uh, the switches sorry on the actual expression pedal so for changing presets if you look at MIDI command we actually want to program change so we click we click on these assuming we want to use A, B, C and D in this instance for changing presets and the switch mode we want to change to fixed now all we have to do now is tell it which channels to switch when you press the button so for the value you see it's all ones in here at the moment the number in here will determine which preset you change so the simplest way to do it um, is in amplitude I'm gonna have the channels called channel 1, 2, 3 and 4 so these values have to be one less than that, it's just the way it works. So to switch channel 1, this needs to be 0. To switch channel 2, this needs to be 1. Don't worry too much why, it's just the way it works as you'll see. You click and drop the arrow and change it. So we're telling it that A, B, C and D switches are going to change the program, change the preset then. This is the channel numbers, it's going to assign to what's in amplitude and it's fixed so when it changes it changes um, and you only have to press it once kind of thing so we need to leave this on we don't have to look at it now as it were but we leave that on uh, and then we need to open our amplitude and I'll show you what to do in amplitude okay I switched on amplitude now um, if you look at this MIDI switch down here and click on that and in the preset list I've said the channel 1, 2, 3 and 4 are going to be these particular ones here. So hopefully, um, if, if I OK it and come out to that, if you just remember the names, for example, like these Ballard, D Jetriff. When I press A, B and C, hopefully, we will see, there are, I pressed A, 80s Ballard, B should be that D Jetriff. But you can see it switching, I press C, and I press D. So you can see it switching. Um, so just to show you how that works, for example, if you wanted to start um, start fresh, you know, when, when you're programming for what you want, you'll go to MIDI. Obviously, if it's on Control Change, that's not what you want. It's Program Change. So you'll click on there. This gives you a list. That just that's what happens to be in my list, if you like. If you wanted to put something different in there, you left click in where the name is, so you can make Channel One something else. So if I click in there. And again and I get a list of all different things and then I'll pick a different one for example that one there now channel one should be this angle powerball dirty rhythm as I call it there so if I OK that and then when I press A we should have a different there you are you've got a different uh, channel now so just to remind you you'll go to MIDI you look at your list and you left click in here twice and then you look through you know your um, what you've got and you choose a preset then uh, that you want to go in your list
Okay, this time I'm going to do it within uh, propeller head reason. Just to let you know, I have got like the default open here. This has to be open to communicate with the, with the expression pedal. So that's going on behind the scenes. I'm going to create an audio track and I'm going to put amplitude 4 on that track. The difference with uh, using a workstation is a bit trickier. Well, it's, a, it's more than a bit trickier. But hopefully I can simplify it. Um, because our controller needs to talk to Reason and then Reason needs to talk to Amplitude. So it's, it's a little bit trickier. So uh, in this case, Audio Track 1 we're talking about, it says Show Programmer. Click on there and we're going to be communicating with this, if you like, and then we're going to be linking this um, to Amplitude, basically. So it looks more confusing than what it is. You can see you've got four buttons. So on, on the expression pedal, we've got A, B, C, D, and we have also got a toe switch on the wah. So we kind of got five buttons, which um, I don't know if someone can, uh, in the comment section, help or whatever. From what I can see, we're kind of limited because we've got five switches, but we've only got four to play with on here. And we've got four rotary controls. So one of these can be used for the expression of the, uh, of the wah, uh, etc. Okay, so what I'm going to do on here now is button one, I'm going to assign that to the tow switch of the wah. So if I edit remote override mapping, I'm going to click the wah. I'll do it again, I think it sensed something else then. So I've clicked the wah and OK it. So hopefully button one um, will be the wah switching on and off. The rotary, this rotary, I'm going to right click, edit remote override mapping, and I'm just moving expression pedal. Okay, so hopefully this will sort up the wah. For button 2, I'm going to use button uh, switch A on the foot expression pedal. So I right click, remote override. It's waiting to send something. I'm going to press button A. Okay, yet. Button 3, right click, override, Let's press switch B, OK it, and button 4, I'm going to use C, right click, override, press C, OK, it is that. So, I then need to fill this table in to link it to Amplitude. So for rotary 1, I'm going to call that... Um, not to confuse myself, sorry. Click on Amplitude there. You switch the, the first parameter, if you like, is switching on the Wawa. So I'm going to say button 1, and I'm going to do group 1, parameter 1. It's just a name. Then the rotary 1 is going to be the second thing I'm looking at, if you like. So rotary 1, I'll just call it parameter 2. Go down here, parameter 2. The next thing I'm looking at is going to be button 2 and it's the third parameter we're talking about so I'm going to call it parameter 3 and then button 3 is going to be parameter 4 and button 4 will be parameter 5 so we've got our pedal linked up to reason but now we haven't got reason linked up to Amplitube. Right, now to link Amplitube to this table, we'll start with this one. This was parameter 1, if you remember. So I right-click on that, and we're going to assign the MIDI here. We're gonna, we, we said it was parameter 1, didn't we? So we call that parameter 1. We said this was parameter 2. So right-click, assign automation, parameter 2. We said this one was the third parameter we spoke about. So we right click, assign automation, parameter 3, and then this switch here, assign it to parameter 4. 